an apology to the victims of grooming gangs after an independent report found that children suffered horrendous abuse while authorities ignored their cries for help. One victim, Fiona Goddard, told how she was sexually abused by gangs of men from 2008 after police and social services repeatedly failed to investigate because they did not want to seem racist. The perpetrators were typically Muslim men of colour. In the case of Fiona, she said, I reported, uh, reported multiple times physical abuse, sexual abuse or rapes, and they were never followed up. They had the opportunity to nip it in the bud and save me from years of abuse, but they never did. The report detailed the experience of a number of victims in Bradford, including a girl known as Anna, whose social worker recommended she be placed in the foster care of the parents of the man who was abusing her. She fell pregnant and authorities allowed the 15-year-old to marry her attacker in an Islamic wedding. The report stated... While in the care of these adults, she was subjected to further sexual abuse and exploitation, domestic abuse, including assaults and coercion, and what we would now recognise as domestic slavery. The cases are horrific, and the apology from the Bradford authorities for failing the victims again and again was overdue. But this grooming gang scandal obviously wasn't restricted to Bradford. It wasn't just in one area. The scandal that saw thousands of vulnerable girls and young women brutalised in the UK is one of the most shameful episodes in modern British history. Authorities looked the other way as gangs of predatory men preyed upon victims. Systematic abuse went unchecked because authorities charged with protecting victims were too frightened to act because the offenders were from immigrant communities, mainly British Pakistani Muslims. Decency and the rule of law were sacrificed for community cohesion and cultural sensitivity. This is what happens when you allow political correctness to cripple institutions. Police and child protection services abandoned their duty and allowed the abuse of poor, marginalised girls and yet, the grooming gang scandal did not become a rallying cry for the modern feminist movement. The trafficking of young girls, the thousands of cases of real rape culture in the West did, did not see much of a reaction from the loudest members of the sisterhood. Even this week, the release of the report into the Bradford cases and the apology received scant coverage in the media. The supposed victimhood of Harry and Meghan gets the activists more excited than the plight of genuine victims who were not only horrifically abused but betrayed by the very people that were meant to protect them. They are victims of the worst excesses of political correctness. And sadly, despite the numerous reports and apologies, there is little confidence at this point that a similarly shameful episode won't happen again.